Thank you, Lord, for your word. We declare and decree free access for the word of God in Jesus' name and for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief cometh not but to but for to steal and kill and to destroy. But I am come that thou might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Are you hearing me? So two different schools, two different people or personalities, two different powers, two different authorities. Here we have the, the devil's purpose on earth and in the life of human beings to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And then secondly, we have what Jesus Christ offers to every person. He comes to give life and to give it abundantly. Now look at someone and say, God gives it abundantly. So he gives life, life abundantly. Say it again, Christ gives life abundantly. The same way Christ gives hope abundantly. Christ gives faith abundantly. Christ gives peace abundantly. Christ gives joy abundantly. Christ gives prosperity abundantly. Christ gives salvation abundantly. The Bible declares every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights. Alright. Now, there are three levels of demonology. Number one, there is op uh, oppression. Uh, oppression law has got to do with physical ailment. I don't feel fine, I feel sick. The doctors can't find what is wrong with me. That is oppression. And then number two, you have obsession. No, obsession has, has got to do with the mind. So the devil can feed your mind with the negative things. You will see what will happen to you. You will die in the morning. You will have an accident. This person is talking about you. Your husband is somewhere. Your wife is somewhere. He speaks into your mind. And if you accept it, you will control your destiny and destroy you. And then the third level is possession. And only possession. Now possession is total control. Possession only say fe wo mo afa. Unumum. Mo afa unumum. Whole everything, spirit, soul and body. Bibia wo susum woni pedu. Now a believer cannot be possessed because Jesus Christ lives in your spirit. So Christo need you want me for unumum for say Christo et wo susum. But when you see a madman, e mo mu obi a wa boda mo a. He is possessed. Ono no die ya fa unumum. And sometimes you know, if we had medical science to deal with all mad people, like all mad people would be okay. But you see, it is not as easy as that. Because something has triggered something. And the person is not in control of their lives and destinies. Somebody can walk from Kegetia to circle Accra. And that's why the Bible says about that young boy, it says the demon leadeth him. And even wants to put him in fire. Under normal circumstances, the boy would stop himself from entering fire. But the boy is not in control of himself. Spirit, soul and body. The devil is in control. And there are people like that. The devil is in control of their lives. They can't do anything. There used to be a madman in Kumasi called Miribebum. 
How many of you remember Medibobum? And if you are not careful, you don't move your face away. He gives you a warning. Boom. Then what you say, Edenya? Stop! Why? Did I not tell you that I was going to slap you? So everybody used to call him Miribobum. So the moment you see about Miribobum, Miribobum, then you quickly run away. He's not in control. There are many people who have been set free from madness. That didn't take medicine. So then you know that certain madness comes from a spirit. And um, I remember a couple of years ago, a Methodist preacher was around the doom. And there was this madman. And then the Lord told him, go and pray for him. And the man was wondering, hey, but I need them in me. The Lord Jesus said, Go and pray for the man. So he went to the madman and laid his hands and said, Come out in Jesus' name. Instantly, the man came to himself. This is not medical science. There's something behind something. Doctors who know will tell you, Sir, you are the baby. Doctor will tell you, As for this uh, sickness, you would have to go somewhere. That is possession. All your faculties are controlled by the devil. Now, there are some people who are not mad, but they are mad. Like witches and certain powers in higher occult. And they, they have sold their soul to the devil. They are in total control. The devil is in total control of their life. They are also possessed. But they are not mad. But they do the devil's bidding. And for them, even when they are dying, they can't will have died. They will accept Jesus. And many people have died in their sins. Hallelujah. Amen. May your enemies die in their sins. And may the Lord save you from every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you and your generation shall not be possessed by the devil. I declare and I decree that you and your generation shall not be obsessed by the devil. I declare and I decree that you, you and your generation shall not be oppressed of the devil. In the name of Jesus. They are structured and have authority lines. They are structured. And have authority lines. So in the devil's kingdom you have Satan. It is And then you have the principalities. You have dominions. So if you read Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 21, 20 says, We are seated in heavenly places far above all principalities and power and might and dominion. And every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come. Are you seeing it? So you see the authority. In fact, witches and wizards are even the lower rank. And demonic spirits. If you have authority, over principal spirits. It is easy to handle demons and witches and wizards. Are you hearing me? But if you spend your life always dealing with demons and witches and wizards, they be a woman, witches, wizard, witches, wizard, the witch and wizard you. Let them know that on the rank they are low cry. 
How many of you have ever heard us come to this church where you be for? Have you heard us say that before? No, because that is not our concentration. No, because that is not our concentration. Because we are a factor in the kingdom in this region. And in this nation. So we, we, I won't waste my time contending with witches and wizards and demons. But in some churches, in a bay for, in a year, woman do a chi, no way do a chi. I saw a bit more. Oh, this is a bit If somebody is following you and you don't like it that way, then deal with the person. That's all. No, no, no. Turn around and say, in the name of Jesus, I take authority, I bind you in Jesus' name. Go! Danny, when he in a cassette, and now get the hands from me, Satan. And I free me so quick. Hey, hey, wow, wow, yes, and catch the October one cell behind me. <laughs> and behind me, Uncle Echo. Hey, Obi to where you say, get the hands from me, Satan. No, I land you, Obi Lap or so. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. I sense a breakthrough for somebody. Because the devil is behind us. In the name of Jesus, any human being, any spirit that be in this world or in the world, uh, any spirit in our families, anybody contending with us in the name of Jesus, I take authority and rebuke those spirits that are using people against us and tell them, get thee behind us, Satan. So they are structured. And they have authority lines. They all take instructions from the devil. Are you hearing me? And he gives his instructions to the principalities. Madam, brah, from Papa Mami. Don't do A. Just relax. Give me your shoe. Your work shall not be hindered. Amen. I understand why you are wearing high shoes. I thought you were tall. But I realize you are as short as I am. Give me a shoe. Dip your hands in the oil and touch your shoes. Touch your shoes. Anoint your shoes with it. Nothing shall hinder you. Now put it on. Oh, oh, era, era, you free all, you free all. Era, you free all. You free all. Hey, Imam Pabo, you know. A question I am present beside my own. How they walk in six inches, eight inches, four inches? I can understand two inches. But when it goes above two inches, So they are structured. Every area, I told you last three weeks, every area has a principality. Every city has a principality. Of, and then you have powers. And I said, in families, they put what we call strong men. Have you remember that scripture? Nobody can enter the, strong, the house of a strong man except he bind the strong man. I told you, they can put a strong man. The devil put a strong man here. We yet they would do a chisa okoji contract myself about. No matter what you do, the strong man follows you. So until you deal with the strong man, you cannot go forward with your life. I take authority over every strong man that is coming against us in the name of Jesus Christ. And I bind that strong man and the strength of the strong man. And I rebuke that strong man in the name of Jesus. You see, her problem is a strong man. Any serpent spirit that comes in the shape of a strong man and comes to you at night and by day and has affairs with you, I take authority and I break that link in the name of Jesus. I take authority over that serpent spirit and I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus and I command that spirit to come out of you. In the name of Jesus. Turn to someone and say, You're about to be set free. Say, You're about to be delivered. 
You're amazing. You make my life. You make my life feel bright. I rebuke that spirit of fear. I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody suffering from the spirit of fear, I bind that spirit of fear that is incapacitating you and causing you not to attain. I bind the works of the spirit of fear and I rebuke the spirit of fear from us now in the name of Jesus. Fear go. And let the weight of God, the faith of God, the peace of God, the joy of God, let it fill us and say, and come upon us in a powerful way. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. They are structured. They see. They hear. They speak. And therefore, they monitor. And they keep records. That's why sometimes when you go, those days when you used to go to shrines and fetches and sorry, we have what we call familiar spirits. You go to the fetches or you go to the sunsun sorry mommy. And when you get there, say, meaning they hear you now. They will say, I know what is about you. You see, because you. those spirits have been with you from your childhood when you were born, when you were mother's womb, they were there. Some of them have entered you from your mother's womb. They know you. What you ate. What you don't like. What you ate. They know where you are working. They know what you do at home. They know who your fiancé is going to be. They know all these things. Because they see. They hear. They know. And they keep record. You see, spirits don't forget. Because they are spirit. Because spiritual things have a big capacity. So they don't forget. What the devil doesn't know is what you have not said and what you have not done. Are you hearing me? So when you don't speak it, the devil doesn't know. And when you don't do it, the devil doesn't know. It's only Jesus who knows what you are thinking. And that. And the day I learned that, was when I got my calling into ministry. When Jesus invited me and he came into my room, he was talking to me audibly. But I was answering in my mind on my bed. And he was telling me and responding to what I was thinking. I said, what? So this thing is true. He knows the thoughts that are in our mind. Thank you. Follow me wherever I'm going. Follow me. Because he joined him. Wherever I move to, follow me. These two young men will be great in future. They speak. So they speak into your ears and if you are not careful you don't compare it to scripture you are in trouble whatever the enemy says if you are not sure about it compare it to scripture is somebody hearing me are you listening to me when they came to the devil when the devil came to Jesus he used scripture the Bible says, the word of God says, throw yourself from the, 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 the pinnacle of the temple and he will keep his angels charge over you that you not strike your foot against a stone. Your scoting sounds. Then he went into Deuteronomy and began to quote Deuteronomy. He went and he was quoting, turn this bread into, this stone into bread. Bow down and worship me. And each time, Jesus also used the right scripture. Because you see, the devil quotes scripture and part out. And he will confuse you. 
If you're not careful, you don't read the whole scripture. You will think this is coming from God. Turn to someone and say, Know the scripture. Know the whole scripture. They know everything. I'll give you an example. Christians do the same thing. Let me give you a perfect example. Nobody has left brother or sister or mother for the gospel's sake and for my sake who has not received a hundredfold. Here they see Is that the full scripture? No. The full scripture says nobody has left brother or sister for the gospel's sake and for my sake that has not received a hundredfold plus persecution. That is the complete scripture. We leave some out. You are behaving like the devil. Huh? You go to another scripture. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all things shall be added unto you. It's just scripture. Be all. We've left something there. Or is it the full scripture? You see what we do? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all things. But this is the full scripture. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all things shall be added unto you. So we quote scripture. And we behave like the devil. Because we remove some from it. One of the funniest scriptures. We, we, we quote half and leave half. It's found in the Old Testament. It goes like this. This is the way we quote it. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Okay. Then he said that unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared for. For this is a day that is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. That is the full scripture. You can't. We quote the end there. Yes, I hear you. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. But or say, eat the fat. Drink the sweet. Send a portion unto them for whom nothing is prepared. Or say, for this is the day that is holy unto the Lord. Neither be sorry. Don't be sad. Because what? The joy of the Lord is our strength. Are you seeing it? That's the way it is. So we call scripture. And we remove from it. You shouldn't. Are you with me, somebody? So they know. They speak. And they want to control your mind. Let me give a little example. Your fiancé comes to your house at um, 7 in the evening. Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday after church. Wednesday, no Ah, didn't call. Okay. So fiancé, I said fiancé, I didn't say male or female. They didn't come. Fiancé. Friday, they didn't come. Two days, they haven't called. And the devil starts. Oh. I told you. I told you. He is somewhere with that other girl, with that other boy. And then your mind begins to process because a friend of yours has told you that Charlie, this girl or this guy is not correct. Sunday, you've been calling her. I said, hey, that's what happens. Because the devil has told you, so you're speaking to your mind. Then all of a sudden, he appears there on Monday. And, or she appears. Then he goes, Hey, Adwa, I know you. I said, Ma, to me, I have been in trouble. I come for poor boy, me, I give me phone, me, I get. Was attacked by robbers. If he, who did not say, now why? Lem. Sad time now, what do you? Who did not buy? No, who did not? Cow the vampire. 
kebuaye. Bose wenye wuti musa. Kasem kotono. Sometimes, the things that we think are zero because it's the devil planting them there. Your husband comes at home at 7 every evening. Now he starts coming at home at 10. When he comes, he says, meeting so, meeting so. First day, oh, when you are tired, you won't say anything. The next time, two days later, the same thing, meeting so, meeting so. Next time he comes, a sawarani meeting, sir. You're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. That is the way we behave. But maybe truthfully, there are extended meetings in the office. But the more you keep worrying him, then the devil will also go to him. See, I told you. This lady. Or your tete phobia will be done. Not a good lady. So now, on be fear no one tete no. No one any cruise a share. Henceforth, you will not come home to be tormented by yourself. Ah, yeah, you run para no abe tina he. No ba ane ha june. Yao, why would you join us here? The lady is tormented. Eh, mi entrebi, mi a mi ja na se ma mi entrebi. Embre. Let us quack some few and then. Uh, and within a short us. time. A fey break a cry. Other people join. Ladies and gentlemen, sis. And when you, before you realize, you are losing that man or woman. Because you listen to the voice of the devil. He knows. He speaks. He sees. Turn to someone said, Be careful what you hear. The same way the devil can use your own friends to speak to you. So that pictures are formed in your mind and in your mentality. When you see somebody conversing with another man, I tell you, did I not tell you? She's like that, eh? Huh? You are me catch them. They are talking about you. I told you. No, but ah, now every day now who's going to come and come. Oh, the way I'm not annoying you, no. The way they say, oh, but I could see her. The way the mouth was. No, oh, shaha, oh, shaha, oh, shaha. I could see the pattern of the pronunciation of Akosia. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. That's what the devil does. Say now, one you? of the best things you can do in life and do you a good service <inaudible> is to live free of what people say. <inaudible> so if you are going to follow what people say, you will never take it. Be able to achieve anything in your life. to me, son can't be a they know who we are. They know who we are. The sons of Skiva. They said, Jesus, we know, Paul, we know, but who are you? Skiva man walk at one say, Yes, if you are anointed, the devil knows. If you understand your authority and position in Christ Jesus, the devil knows. If you are nobody, the devil knows. Have you realized what Bush for? Oh. At the time, you were not a Christian. At the moment you, you became not a, Christian. a Christian, immediately you became a Christian. You know, no matter how bad. Oh no, no, no. He's coming. Yeah, be be on that is him. He doesn't understand anything we say. They know you. What money more? Turn to someone. Say the enemy knows me. Catch your visa. We're born some new men. You have to let the enemy know who you are, What's what up? you stand for in Christ Jesus. Umabu Not the fact that yet. the enemy can twist you anyway. Yes, we bet me and dad and wait until we said you only want They know us. They know those with authority and those who lack authority. They know those who they can twist. And their purpose is to lead you. And determine the course of your life and destiny. Yes, uh, broad is the way that leadeth unto destruction, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. Quiet. 
open a pathway for you walk in it sometimes a shortcut is a wrong cut what I'm saying is this I said sometimes uh, a shortcut is a wrong cut a shortcut uh, indirectly uh, so if you want to take a shortcut it's a wrong cut that is why sometimes have you ever happened to you when you're going somewhere all of a sudden the holy spirit tells you don't and then you say something told me not something it's the holy ghost and then when you didn't go there you see something happened there you are going to join a car and there's a fight i can't want it both are pro pro me per front seat, per front seat. I ah, want the front seat. Wafa, me na na me chow. Me siya kwato ade. I me buy obi anto abatra ho. I had earlier occupied the front seat. I just went out to buy something. Don't sweat it. Um, koko won't talk back. Some cars have left, and the one at the front seat died through an accident, and the rest were saved. Sometimes God wants to prevent us from the devil leading us into destruction. The devil tries to lead us into destruction. They torment. And they they are in groups. Groups. The Bible says if a demon is cast out and then the demon goes and goes roaming in the wilderness and doesn't find any place to stay and comes back and, and finds where he was clean and nobody inhabiting when the demon leaves Jesus must occupy when he comes in the Bible says he goes and brings seven more wicked spirits and enters the person so that the former state of the person the, the former state the latter state of the person is worse than the former state and then so when you are free move away from the things that put you in bondage Otherwise, seven more wicked spirits will take authority. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? They come in groups. They said, we are legion. Because we are many. Hello? That is a group. A legion, thousands, six thousand soldiers roman soldiers so imagine six thousand demons living in one person hey. no wonder he was cutting himself screaming mad breaking chains because a group of demons if say had inhabited him now i want to come to a theological question and the question is very simple when you are casting out demons, do you have to look for their names and mention their names and ask for their names? I know, I know, a lot of young people. What is your name? Where do you come from? It is a waste of time and energy. Don't go asking for the name of the demon. If Jesus wants you to know, he will give you the name. The Bible says by their fruit, you will know them. If somebody comes to me and says, I'm a spirit of lies. It means it's a spirit of lies. Why do you have to go, what is your name? Where do you come from? What is your name? Tell me your name. I torment you with fire. Who told you you can torment them with fire? The time has not come. Yeah, bro. Listen. Somebody said, oh, but Jesus Christ asked them for the name. Scripture. 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 
doctrine is determined by the mouth of two or three witnesses. When something happens once in the Bible, and then it is not, it doesn't happen elsewhere. It is not an example, it's not cast in stone. What did I make an answer? Bible mo, healing. Uh, it was back more than 20 times. It means it's a doctrine of God. Forgiveness. It's, a do it's there. Hey, what? What? Don't they say forgive, forgive, forgive? Now, one place, Jesus said, What is your name? What do you hear doctrine? And in one instance, Jesus said, I say, We didn't say, No, yeah, the church. Even that, even that. Let me spoil the thing for you. And no cry, no. He lied. Because the devil is the father of lies. Pastor, how did they lie? Ah, it's legion a name. Is it a name of, of, of spirits? So when Jesus asked them, what is your name? And they said, we are legion for we are money. They told Jesus their number. They didn't tell Jesus their name. They didn't mention it. Because, they, they cannot tell the truth. Yes, to Christ, to our Lord and Savior. When he asked the demons, what is your name? They said, we are many. So they will start. This is Kwame. What are you? What are you? I have grace. I have grace. I am also here. I am also here. We haven't even mentioned that to 100. Are you understand what I'm saying? They, they never are. mentioned their names. But the Bible helps us with names. By their fruit, you will know them. So when somebody has a problem, and they are mad, it's a spirit of what? Madness. If somebody is sick, it's a spirit of what? Infirmity. Finished. And then sometimes God can give you the revelation of the things around you. God never mentioned the name of the demon. They understand. I'm telling you. They understand some things. It will shock you. They understand. When the devil was speaking to Jesus, he understood. Wow. When somebody, yes, you knew what, what he was saying. Well, After Jesus walking. had fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights, they understood. Wow. They obeyed their master. Mm -hmm. Instructions about. How much time military for? They obeyed their master. They carry out instructions as exactly as they received them. And then. They obey God's people. You know what they obey? Come out in Jesus' name. They obey God's people who are anointed. They obey their master. And they obey us when we cast them out. Because we do it in the name of Jesus. One day they will be punished. That pro will be They will be punished. Punished. I'm telling you. Okay. They will be punished. Be punished. Be punished. I'm telling you, one day they'll be punished. That is why they said to Jesus, Are you coming to torment us before our time? They themselves they know. One day they'll be hellfire. That is why they want more people to join them. Don't tell me I grew up. Wicked people. Fear, bra, bra. Everything is changing. Come quickly. Let everything change in your life. Let the battles you are fighting gain the victory. Gain the victory. Gain the victory. Anything that stops you from achieving, let it cease. Let it cease. From today, wherever you speak, whether it is in the court of law, it is with people, may you receive an answer and favor in Jesus' name. Go and put your hands in the oil and anoint yourself with favor. It is accomplished. One day they will be punished. 
then finally they are named after what they do are you hearing me they are named they are named after what they what do I said they are named after what after what they what so you know what is happening in your life may the Lord favor you May the Lord favor you. May the Lord favor you. They are named. Until we are yari yari to do a doctor for one So the spirit of infirmity. You frequently get sick. So they are going to cast it out. What's that? You too know. So they get no baby yari yari. It's a spirit of pain. So what I can't draw the door. No, but so we are touch them. The spirit of lies. If you often tell lies, that is also. What did I say? So you know your problem. So a woman, it's a spirit of what? Death. You're going to take authority in the next few moments and command those spirits to come out. Let me show you how you do it. Say, I bind you, spirit of so so and so, and your works in Jesus' name. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Say it with him. Are you hearing me? If you are always poor, your money that is a spirit of poverty hiding somewhere. Are you hearing me? Are you ready? Why a crowd stand on your feet? So now, now, so.